Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Louis. Uh, what I have here for you today is a um, pickups video. It's uh, mostly accessories that I picked up in the last month. Um, controllers, mini consoles, um, Guitar Hero Rock Band, hero, rock band uh, accessories, music accessories. Um, it's, it's a few things. So uh, I will get started because this video is just that, okay? Uh, I have, I've been working on the Sega series, um, the Sega modded Sega console series, and that will be coming out uh, this summer. Uh, this month and um, into early August um, so so yeah wait for those I'm not gonna show you any of those accessories related to Sega because it will be it would be redundant for me to show you those but there are some things that I picked up for for those for that system those systems rather um, and of course so right now let's just get started uh let me get my energy drink this is what i'm having it's a uh, berry flavored uh ted lasso <laughs> edition pre-game energy drink and um, um i don't know just some random brand warner brothers <laughs> um universal don't know i picked it up at the video game store but that's what i'm drinking it's berry flavored um I don't know, just a mix of berries, not a one spe in specific. Okay, so let's get started because I have a lot, guys. And um, hopefully this will be a good format. I didn't have time to uh, organize a different setup. So right now, this is all I'm going to show you. And uh, back here, I have, uh, I have playing Streets of Rage on Sega Genesis on this beautiful JVC CRT TV that accept component video and that's this is component video using some very special cables that were a bit pricey to get but absolutely worth it uh, i think i should make a video just on those cables just because there's um, it's just component cables basically made by a company called uh, stone age gamer and uh, they specialize in cables and anything retro and um that's that's exactly how i'm playing it uh so yeah i mean the picture is gorgeous and um <laughs> i love it so let's get let's just get started and that's just in the background um while I'll, I, I'll showcase you some of these this is a playstation 1 and playstation 2 um arcade stick by ascii um i've been playing metal slug on it uh i've been playing street uh, not Street Fighter, rather King of Fighters, and I've tested on PlayStation One and PlayStation Two. Uh, this is actually my first arcade stick for PS One and PS Two. I do plan on getting more for those systems because there are others that are top of the line, and I want top of the line. But uh, this was my my uh, entry level arcade stick by ASCII, which is a very well known arcade uh, Japanese arcade stick company some people say ASCII but I think it's ASCII uh, but if you were to pronounce it in Italian I guess that would be ASCII but I, I don't know I think it's it, ASCII is is more common but people call it all kinds of ways so there you go um, so yeah the the arcade stick itself it's very it's got micro switches in there hear that oh it's so satisfying to hear that it's like cracking your fingers joints or something uh, but uh yeah it's it's really wonderful and um i i, I also try them try this arcade stick with shoot em ups as well and uh, i love it um of course like i said this arcade stick is uh compatible with both playstation 1 and playstation 2 that's just your standard uh, pin connector, PS1, PS2 pin connector. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy for this one though. Like I said, it's my first arcade stick and I own a, a lot of arcade sticks, but most of them are for PlayStation 3 mostly and uh, Xbox 360. But uh, this is my first arcade stick that I get for my PS1 and PS2. Um, so let me get this out of the way. 
so I can move on to the next item. Let's see. Uh, next item here is uh, DJ Hero. Uh, I've had this for a bit, and that's why the box looks a little beat up. Um, but I never shown it to you, um, so I decided to make it part of this pickup videos, just because I eventually like to show you uh, the accessories I own. So uh, this is a turntable, and uh, this came out for PlayStation Three. Um, apparently it has all these kind of mixes where you can spin, scratch, and even sing uh, and create a, a party of some sort. Um, so I'll, I'll open it and show you. It's got over 80 original mixes by Eminem, Lady Gaga, Dead Mile 5, Lil Wayne, Rihanna, David Weta, get him. Uh, Naughty by Nature, Jackson 5, Estelle, Chic, Basement Jackson, yeah, yes. So yeah, uh, this is the box mine. It's got the, well, it it cannot cover the entire uh, track list. But um, yeah, this is, this is what, um, <laughs> what it is. And um, there. so if you ever felt like being a DJ, this is a really good simulator for that, I would say. Whoa. There we go. Have all my manuals. And um, and this is, um, wait, is this a poster? I wish it was a poster. No, I know exactly how to operate it. This is a very big manual that just opens up. Um, instruction manual and then actually they uh, threw in a copy of dj hero 2 there is dj hero 1 as well um let me take out the actual turntable here it is so it's got some dials here um a button wait <clears throat> oh here we go here is the actual I was holding it upside down. Well, there is actual no actual way of uh, of uh, being able to know which if you don't open it up. But um, there, there is our directional buttons and action buttons and home button. Select and start. Um, and yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually need to fire it up and uh, check it out. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun, especially if you have people over. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's that. Uh, something that I want to mention is this. If you buy any accessory for PlayStation 3, such as this one, um, make sure that it comes with an adapter, with a wireless adapter, because these devices are, in tr are not truly wireless. They require these adapters to communicate with the console. Um, I've said that in my previous videos that Xbox 360 accessories don't require these dongles. However, if you like PlayStation 3, you're kind of screwed. Um, the prices for these dongles sometimes are cost more than the actual unit itself. Um, a prime example of that is the guitars. Guitars, I have some guitars that are completely worthless. However, if I want to use them on my PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3, some of those dongles or uh, wireless adapters like this one, they'll go for a lot of money, a lot more than the actual guitar. So just make sure you get one of these. Um, I had to hunt this down because originally my, uh, my system, it was supposed to come with one, but uh, at the end of the day, it didn't. So, so yeah. So that's that, and wow, that uncovered a lot of room. That freed up a lot of room for us. Um, okay, this is gonna be fun because I have some really cool stuff to show you guys. And um, <clears throat> uh, these two controllers right here will get their own video, and I will. They are actually sealed right now. Um, I have not opened them, not ever. So I wait for those videos. Um, I don't know when, but um, they'll be coming at some point. Another thing that I got 
is this uh, wireless keyboard for PlayStation 3. Uh, you can play just with uh, just regular key or pro, which will require you pressing two buttons um, at once. And it's way more challenging, of course, if you are uh, if you actually know how to play keyboards, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be an issue for you. But um, for the rest of us, we're kind of screwed. There is our directional buttons. I just tried it this morning and um, it was, um, I mean, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard. Um, but uh, this, this works with Guitar Hero 3. And uh, you can use it as a guitar bass player as well. Um, and this operates with three, um, double-a batteries here's your on and off switch and again if you buy the this uh wireless keyboard if you buy it for 360 for xbox 360 you're fine but if you buy it for playstation 3 you will need this dongle <laughs> the damn dongles yeah this costs this ended up being more costly than the actual keyboard so there there's a prime example guys so if you are shopping for gar um, garage band rock band guitar hero accessories and you are on playstation 3 or playstation 4 make sure that they come with dongles especially on playstation 3 on playstation 4 they they started introducing truly wireless uh accessories which don't require dongles which is the right move uh, because everybody loses these little things and it drives prices up because they just end up being trashed because people don't even, they go, well, what is this? I don't have that anymore and they just throw it away. So uh, make sure you keep those. Um, and let me move right along uh, with, the, with what's next. And uh, this is just a quick uh, sneak peek. This is a... <clears throat> wireless gamepad for gamecube it's beautiful spice um uh, they call it orange it's not actual yellow but it's very well i would say to me it's always been yellow but they call it spice orange that's what they call this color um so yeah this is uh this works for nintendo switch wii and wii u um <clears throat> And of course, for GameCube, um, we get a wireless adapter. And like I said, I will be making a video on that. So this actually, guys, you get GameCube, Switch, Wii, and Wii U. So that's four systems <laughs> that you can use this controller on. And that's incredible. Uh, it's it's totally worth it. It's not very expensive either. So this is, again, by Retro Fighters, that company that I now own like five controllers from. And... Um, I am just so satisfied every time I own it for my Sega Dreamcast, for, um, did I forget now? Uh, for the original Xbox as well. Um, and here we have a PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 uh, wireless gamepad by Retro Fighters. Man, I'm really eager to open this, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I will wait until the day that I make the video for you guys. Uh, <clears throat> again, this is three systems in one, uh, just one controller. And you will be using a dongle um, that comes with it. You have to for <laughs> for stuff like this because it's got to communicate with the console somehow. So um, it's a specific dongle. And... Um, yeah this is this is really neat and uh, I, I cannot wait to check this out <laughs> and of course we uh, ha we have a, a lithium battery and we don't need to keep uh, trashing throwing battery used batteries uh, into the environment so this is much better um, so yeah that's what I will be showing you soon sometime very soon uh, the next thing that I wanna that I'm gonna talk about is um, is this, and this as well.
you know, because of my age, I never got to experience uh, these systems from the 80s. Um, so I picked up two flashback systems. Um, I never owned these systems growing up. However, if you like Atari, if you have appreciation for eight, er, early 80s and early 80s to mid 80s um, video game graphics, if you have appreciation for that, I think that you would enjoy uh, exploring for the first time the Intellivision flashback classic game console. Uh, well, you know, they call them minis. Uh, this was this, this came out in like 2014, by the way, both of these. Um, <clears throat> And so it's got 60 built-in games. And these are the controllers. And I will show them to you just, just now. Um, so this is a console. So it's got a, a faux uh, <laughs> wood finish here. Um, well, yeah, it's plastic. It's, not, it's just a sticker. <laughs> um, it is super lightweight. Um, it just has a reset and power button and um, comes with two controllers. And the controller looks like a cell phone from the 80s. At least that's what I would, that's how I imagine them to be. But you actually hold it like this. And, excuse me, like this. And each button has, uh, and it also has some sort of analog uh, shoulder buttons here. If you could call them that. They have that same function. Actually, this is select and this is start. And, and these have other functions within games. How the hell would you play a game on this, right? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, this is actually just like an analog stick, but it's just a, a rotational, yeah, a rotational stick of some sort. It's got a multi-directional, uh, it can turn multi-directionally and um, and you can also click with it there we go so this was my first time actually trying the systems out because i don't want to buy the originals because i don't know if i would like them and furthermore those cons these consoles um, are over 40 years old i would have to be doing some maintenance that I don't know that I want to take on right now but um, if I do like which I mean I already tried it and I do like it I pre you know it only has 60 games and um, of course I'd like to try more uh, some of these consoles can be flashed with entire libraries of games so I think I'm gonna do that to this if that's possible I am still doing my diligent research on that <clears throat> um, Oh, okay. So essentially, um, back to the <laughs> in television. So how how would you know wh you know what to press? Well, these systems came with these overlays that are supposed to help you. So you would just keep this uh, by your side, and here you can check uh, this on and off energy levels. And this is w this would be for the game Space Spartans. Um, you can print this online as well if you if you need them. Uh, so battle, um, impulse drive, shields, tracking completion, battle completion, hyperdrive, all systems, status, number of aliens, change view, energy levels. So it's really different, guys. I had never experienced anything like this, and I am actually mesmerized. I I really like it. Um, I have appreciation for this. I was playing a tennis game. I was playing um, Brick Breaker, a version of that on the, on the in television, and wow, I was having a lot of fun uh, using this controller. Um, I really do like it quite a bit, and uh, I am happy that these are here in my collection now because I I don't have these systems from the eighties. Um, you know, I didn't grow up grow up with them, and um, so it's they're completely new for me. Uh, this is the ColecoVision, um, and of course, uh, most people have seen gameplay of, of the ColecoVision uh, with uh, Donkey Kong, which was uh, a port that the ColecoVision uh, came out, came with. And um, 
this is another console from the 80s and as you can see they use you know there's no relationship between these two companies between um and um in television and coleco but uh they were using similar very similar controllers look at that so it's a it's a dial that you turn as well but this is completely different <laughs> and that, i will show you um but again it's uh recreation of the original console and i was playing this game again yesterday uh this was a couple of days ago but uh this also uses overlays just like the ones i showed you because you know these controllers on the number numerical pad doesn't tell you anything so with these uh, overlays you can see which buttons to press uh, for specific games some games don't require overlays at all because it's pretty straightforward what you do in the game but um there we go and it comes with 60 games and uh, here is the console it is very light as well it's got this beautiful um, multi-color logo very 80s and um, it's very nice finish uh, you cannot use the original controllers for ColecoVision on these although the pins look identical but you can't and uh, this is the controller guys um, here we go so <laughs> some shoulder buttons and then uh, the numerical pad which as I told you the <clears throat> the overlays are your key to, on how to play the game so on how to play games so wait am I missing something okay. and this is a dial this actually this doesn't turn this doesn't turn it's just it's just an analog stick really so for multi uh, directional movements up, right, left. So, yeah. I The games that I played on here were uh, space shooters, uh, mostly. And um, some platformers as well. I did try that. And um, let's see. Uh, I forget what else uh, I played on here because this was now a few days ago. And I have played a million other things since then. But, uh, yeah. These are two systems from the 80s that, again, I don't want to take on the on the challenge of owning the originals because they would need some repairs for sure. And, um, I mean, eventually I might get the originals, but for this, for the foreseeable future, future these are the ones that I... These are my systems from the 80s. And, again, I didn't have anything from the 80s on, in my game room because I don't have an Atari. And I'm, I will eventually take care of that, but uh, at the moment, um, I'm not there yet. Because I, I want to know if I want to go with the flashback system or with the original, which I kind of want the original, and uh, we'll see. We'll see about that. But uh, the next thing I got is uh, this big, big, big uh, uh, shotgun by Cabela's. It's for the Nintendo Wii, and <laughs> you put a Wiimote in there. And you put a nunchuck back here, and that's how you get your movements. And um, yeah, you, it's there's a ton of Cabela's hunting games on the Nintendo Wii, and so I said, you know, why not? Why not? I mean, I this looks like it would be a lot of fun. I, I tried it. I I was hunting some bucks, and um, it was <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I mean, it's. Holding an actual thing that looks the like a shotgun, feels like a shotgun, it almost, um, I don't know, it, it, it uh, recreates the experience a bit more, the simulation, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Something very simple, yet um, I did not have that before. <laughs> um, since we were talking about... Uh, about guns right now. These are some of the guns I have. Oops. Just turn my camera. Lucky. Luckily, uh, everything is in order here in this room. So since we were talking about light guns, um, these are some other pistols that I have for um, for my Nintendo Wii. I have two of the same. Both are by Nyko. Um, Here's one side, here's the other side. Uh, so the way they work is you put in um, your Wiimote in there 
and then you are able to press the button and of course thanks to this little bar right here the sensor bar you don't need a crt to play these uh, we like on games and i also got this one this one is black it's also by nico uh, this is the perfect shot uh pistol and um yeah uh, I love having light gun games uh, whenever people come over because, you know, everybody can have some healthy competition and play. Um, but uh, another thing that I got also recently is, um, well, not this guitar. I have had this guitar for, for a bit. This doesn't... Okay. I've had this guitar for a bit. However, what I did not have was the damn dongle yeah i know i know uh these dongles i keep telling you um this dongle costs more than the guitar um i got this one with the system i bought so that's no loss for me but um this dongle thing yeah <laughs> just makes me angry whenever these people just uh hi you know hijack prices because of stuff like this but uh yeah, this uh, <clears throat> Guitar Hero guitar um, works with all the Guitar Hero games and the Rock Band games as well. And um, thanks to this little dongle, I have another Guitar Hero guitar that I couldn't use before and that I can also use. The only issue is that it's one dongle per guitar. So if I, <laughs> if I have another player that wants to play guitar, I need another dongle. So yeah, that's these dongles saw guys. Um, they're just really, I mean, they had the technology to not make it that way, but they chose to because, you know, Xbox 360 did it the right way. Um, but anyway, uh, this one here, <laughs> there's a little sticker I put on there, a Retro Frog sticker. Uh, this one is the Fender Stratocaster guitar. And this one uh, works on um, The Last Guitar Hero Live. I believe it's just that one. And again, I didn't have the dongle because the original owner lost it. I got this with another system I bought, but that's fine. This one wasn't too expensive. This is for PlayStation 3 and Nintendo Wii. I'm not going to be playing on Nintendo Wii. Of course, I'm going to be playing on PlayStation 3. However, if I want to play on PlayStation 4, I need a dongle for PlayStation 4 only. And that thing costs over $50. So I'm pretty angry about that. And I don't even know that I want to do it just because of that. It's just, it, this guitar is like 15 bucks, 20 bucks without a dongle. <laughs> so yeah, it's just really infuriating at the moment. But uh, at least I can play it on PlayStation 3. Uh, Wii if I want to. But yeah, this is the Fender Stratocaster guitar. And... um. So yeah, I've been taking care of those uh, little inconveniences I had because I've had this heart, this uh, you know, this hardware for a long time, and I couldn't do anything with it. <clears throat> uh, sadly, uh, the last massive thing that I'm gonna show you today is this. Oh, no, it's not. It, it is heavy, but it's not that heavy. This is a Tony Hawk ride skateboard. And yes, it's a full-size skateboard. I'm not going to open it just because I don't I, I don't want to do that right now, guys. But uh it's it's a full uh skateboard that apparently well it it's some it's uh this will work on PlayStation PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, I believe. Um but uh the controls apparently aren't very well mapped out. Um they're a bit gimmicky and it just it kind of got destroyed but it's still a pretty unique experience and i know that i will enjoy it more than most people because most people bitch too much i think <laughs> or you know they get easily put off and i don't um but uh, this this uh <laughs> this this uh, skateboard also needs uh it needs a dongle so make sure you yours comes with a dongle and um yeah, this thing is massive, and uh, I haven't actually tested it yet. Uh, but um, the other thing that I also have never opened is this Neo Geo Mini 
um, International Edition Mini Arcades. This is an actual arcade cabinets, miniature arcade cabinets. Um, this is it right here. Um, and it comes with all these 40 Neo Geo Masterpiece games. It's absolutely all my favorites. The entire Metal Slug Anthology, uh, the most essential 94 through, uh, through 2002, King of Fighters, uh, right there. It, you know, it's a given. Samurai Showdown and The Last Blade. Yeah, and um, so I need to open this on a video for you. This is International Edition. Um, but yeah, guys. So this was my unboxing <laughs> of some sort. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some useful information. Um, stay tuned because I have a lot of content coming out. Uh, my Summer of Sega series is starting very soon. So stay tuned, subscribe, and like because that really helps me out. It helps me to, to uh, it helps my videos so they get recommended to other people. So when you like it, it's not just that you liked it and that I can see a numerical value to that video. No, it really helps. Uh, to get my videos recommended to other people and which translates into more views so which is what we want um all right so i'll catch you in the next video um so stay tuned i'll be posting an update on the social side of uh, my youtube channel about the sega summer of sega series that i cannot wait to start filming all right ciao